The intention of this short film is to raise awareness of a magnificent 12th century temple lying in ruins scattered in the forest of the Sirket Valley in the Midwestern Hill region of Nepal. For quite some time, Kakri Bihar has been an archaeological enigma for the students of cultural history of Nepal, more precisely of the West Nepal Hills. The site of Kakri Bihar lies in the southern fringe of the Sirket Valley, almost three kilometers from Barendranagar, the headquarters of Sirket District in the Midwestern Development Region of Nepal. The ruined site of Kakri Bihar is known for the conglomeration of its superb art and architectural remains associated with Hinduism and Buddhism. The rich art of Kakri Bihar shows a distinct knowledge about the advancement of Buddhist religion and art that had long been fostered in the region. The Valley of Surkhet was popularly known as a central point, an untarpo of trade in the medieval period. This valley links the northern Himalayas to the southern plains of Nepal Ganj, bordering India. From the Terai, the route enters the Sirket Valley and then passing through the mountainous regions, embracing the towns of Dulu and Sinja, capitals of the Kasmala rulers of the medieval period, then proceeds further north towards the Tibetan border. The temple, which might have been plunged by attacks, most probably from outsiders, indicates the northern Indian Sikara-style temple, fully decorated with Buddhist sculptural art and several other motifs. In the year 2003, the Department of Archaeology of Nepal excavated the Kakri Bihar site and successfully unearthed the debris of a ruined structure of a stone temple. This made it possible to assess the popularity of the developed form of sculptural art in this region. Although the name Kakri Bihar implies a vihara or monastery, but in fact, the site is nothing more than a Sikara-style temple that consists of several miniature Sikaras in successive layers of the superstructure. We can easily discern skillfully carved images of the Buddha, Bodhisattva, and other minor Buddhist deities. Many such images are now preserved in the Barendra Nagar Regional Museum of the Government of Nepal. The rest of the sculptures and other artistic carvings can be seen lying on the site. Thus, the art activity of Kakri Bihar features the beautifully carved images indicating the spread of the Buddhist art belonging to the Mahayana school of Buddhism in that part of Western Nepal. The interesting part of the images can be ascertained exclusively carving the life history of the Buddha. No such other sites of the region have done so. The tradition of the depiction life scenes of the Buddha in stone art can be traced out from the inspiration of Gandhara and Mathura school at the beginning of the Christian era. Bharat art illustrated the narrative scenes related to the story of the previous birth of the Buddha, symbolizing Chaitya, Bodhi tree, discs, etc. during the second century BCE. The Gandhara school, on the other, laid the landmark history of Buddhist sculptural art and started to make the images of the Buddha that denote different scenes based on his life activities only after the first century AD. Many Buddhist sculptures found around the ruins of Kakri Bihar suggest that the site was a developed Mahayana center of art in this region. Most of the carved images display the theme of Dayani Buddha sitting independently on the pedestal, whilst other sculptures narrate several themes relating the incidents of the life history of the Buddha. Interestingly, many Buddhist sculptures at historical sites represent the scenes based on the life history of the Buddha, such as birth, death, Shravasti miracle, monkeys offering of honey, taming of the mad elephant, enlightenment at Bodh Gaya, the first sermon of Saranath, and Buddha's descent from Tulsidas heaven are noteworthy from the point of view of the development of Buddhist sculptural art equally in India, Nepal, and Tibet. Among these, Kakavihar promoted some life incidences of the Buddha through the sculptural art of the region. In this sense, as in other Buddhist sites, Kakri Bihar played a prominent role for inspiring on carving the beautiful and expressive images during the 12th century AD. 
Would it not be a loss for all of mankind to lose such a magnificent sight? We at Living Traditions believe so and are making every effort to preserve this site. Please help us by donating funds today. Thank you.